Hi guys, how are you doing? It's me Paula and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Paula and I do many different things on my channel, mainly beauty reviews, sub box um, unboxings, etc. So this is the time of the month we do our empties video. Now this is actually a reduced amount of my empties video for April because I've got a couple of reasons for that. My hair products are not included in there because remember, I, if you look back and scroll down to my videos about, about a month ago, I've started doing a Curly Girls Club review of various curly hair products. So I'm saving my reviews of my um, hair products for that video, which will happen in a month or so's time once I've tried all the products out. I'm also doing a Drunk Elephant review of the Drunk Elephant range. So those products that I finish, they'll be in a review in a month or so's time again. And I'm also doing, I'm going to do a review of hand cream products for people who suffer from things like eczema, dermatitis and psoriasis. So those products won't be in it. So this is kind of like a reduced empties uh, video. I've still got quite a lot though, but um, the other ones will be like stay posted. So the first thing I've got, I've got a lot of a lot of random stuff this month. The first thing I'm going to look at is um, I got this um, cream called Aloha Ayana Coconut Milk Body Lotion. And that was in, a, I think it was an Oceanista box that I got. I think it's a Hawaiian brand and it was so nice. It was such a lush, lush body cream. It's very, very, very light but nourishing. And it was a smelt of coconut. It was amazing. Um, I think I went through it quite, quite quickly. It says here 20% of profits are donated to Hawaiian wildlife. So I think that's a very good brand. I wouldn't mind getting other stuff by this brand because I think it's, it's, I think, although having said that, I don't know how accessible it would be in the UK. Um, this was an Oceanista box. So obviously all the stuff comes from, um, you know, like their California sub box. So they probably find it easier to get hold of these type of things. But it was really nice. Really enjoyed it. I've gone through quite a lot of body cream at the moment. Um, it's just my skin's quite, quite dry. Next thing I got was I tried a glycolic scrub fix from fix from Nip and Fab Exfoliate. It was lovely. It smelled of like lemongrass. I wish I love the smell of lemongrass. It was so good. I like the grit on it. I I like I like um, exfoliations that have a little bit of a grit to it because you want to to know it's actually doing something. So I enjoyed this a lot actually. It really gave me such a glow afterwards. My skin felt great. Felt really exfoliated. And I was certainly would love to try more Nip and Fab products. So I think I did get this in a box. So I'm really, you know, this is why I quite like sub boxes because it does open you up to brands that you might not have otherwise have tried or heard of. So I really enjoyed this one. I, I would, I would repurchase this one. Okay, the next thing I tried, it was like a little tiny, so it's got, it seems it's got a little bit, I washed this out and that's probably why it looks like it's, might have to rinse this out again. Um, this is by Noble Isle, which is a UK company, and this was just a little sample of their shower gel. Now, this was, it, it looked like brown, and I thought it was going to be quite a masculine one, because I think I've tried one before, and it was quite a masculine fragrance in it. But this one is actually was tea rose, and it was, it's from the Chelsea, this is from Chelsea Green London, I think, this is where Noble Isle's made. And it's from like their own, they've got their own like, I think they've got their own farms in the UK that they produce all their products. But the tea rose was beautiful. I, I really enjoyed it actually. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a full size, so they're quite expensive. They're kind of comparable to sort of molten brown prices. I think about £18 for the full size. I've got my cardigans picking up dust from things. Oh, it's packing paper. I was wondering what that was. I was uh, I was uh, decanting all my my boxes packing paper into recycling, and I've got seems I've got lots of packing paper stuck to me. Okay, so that was that one. The next thing I tried was um, it was a sheet mask, and this was the Crybaby um, deep conditioner, five in one deep conditioner. That was really good actually. Can't remember what it smelled like, um, and it you know it was just uh, it was it was quite good in my hair. You leave it on and. It's there. It says crushed fruits formula and junk free formula. So it's again quite natural, and yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Can't really think much to say about it. It was it was good. It was good. The next thing I got, and this is another deep conditioner. This was really good, and this was the Unwinding by Hask, the Pinot Noir inspired repair and moisturize deep conditioner. This was really good. I got this in a box, and actually it was so lovely, and it left my hair feeling really soft, really nourished. 
really bouncy. And it says here, fresh happens so take control of this luxurious and um, repairing Pinot Noir inspired deep conditioner. Has wine extract, which was obviously why the Pinot Noir, the grapeseed oil, and it's some weird in ingredient that I've never heard of. Reservatriol. Don't know pomegranate extract and plum extract and it was so good it was like i left it on for about 30 minutes was reading my book in the bath and uh, read my kindle in the bath you know <laughs> living dangerously and uh you know when i came back washed it out went to the shower washed it out it was so my hair honestly it was so smooth i think that's the thing about deep conditioner is if they're really good if, if they are kind of made to deal with frizz frizzy hair and dry hair uh, they are very good to my hair so that's good. So come out here very frizzy. The next thing I got was, and I did a brand discovery video uh, a few weeks back on this, and this is um, MOAs, and that's the the mineral soap in their dreamy bath. And this is like a bath salt, and this was the um, what's it? Magic. I'm trying to remember what the MOA stands for. Magic Organic Apothecary. I, I think that's what it stands for. And they've got some really beautiful products and they're actually quite famous for their green balm, which I have bought a little little one of, but I'm going to use that. I haven't used it yet, but I love their bath products on here. This was good. This was their dream. I love their, their design at the front, like the dream catcher. This was a good bath salt. Now, for the price of it, though, you can get other bath salts that are compatible. Um, this was, has lavender, pine, cardamom, Himalayan and sea salt. You can get sea salts, big massive bags of sea salt, dead, dead sea salt for, a, you know, probably about the price of this this actual small sachet. I think this came to about £7. So while it was nice, it wasn't worth the price the price tag. Um, I'm sure, you know, if the company would have probably said, oh, well, you know, we you know we source our products differently and blah, 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 and not everything. And it, but... You know, it, 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 you know, you can get cheaper brands. What I did like from them, but um, I'm trying to find the bottle. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm not going to be able to find it now. I'm done with it. Excuse me for a minute. Ta-da! It was, this is from the same company, and this was their green bath potion and peppermint fennel and fur needle. This stuff, and it is beautiful. It's called Fortifying magic green bath potion do you know what it's i've bought the full size of it now and it's my bathroom you'll need a couple of like maybe two capfuls of it don't make the mistake and you know it did say like pour the whole thing in with this little bath potion i poured the whole thing in and it was tingling all over my body i was like oh and but not in a good way it was like kind of like oh it's like you know why why does my skin feel so cold and this is because it was the you know i think i put too much in i would say just put two capsules in it's so beautiful it's quite energizing it makes you feel clear-headed it's such a good one i really really enjoying it and um, like i say i i think it's 20 quid for like the full size but you know what, I'm only using a little bit at a time, which is, you know, it's it's lasting for a long time. I really enjoy this. I love my bath products. I'm a big bath product fan. And that hence, this is my one of my all-time faves. If you've seen my other empties, I always have a couple of bottles of these in my empties. Um, but if you haven't seen my empties before, I'll just quickly go over it. It's a Willida lavender relaxing bath milk. Beautiful. Oh, you'll love the smell of lavender. I find this so relaxing. I, you know, if I if I'm feeling stressed or tired, a couple of drops of this in the bath, well, a couple of capfuls of this in the bath, it is just beautiful. And I love the fact it's a gla blue glass bottle, easy to recycle. In case that's that one. And um, the next one I got, and I think I got this in like a Fab Fit Fun or something. I can't I can't remember. I've never heard of the brand before, but it's M and Y Get Up and Glow Body Scrub, enriching with natural grains. Um, and it helps you feel like new. Now, it's made, it was made in the UK, so it wouldn't have been fab fit fun. I wonder where I got this. It was in a box, but I can't, rem can't remember. If you remember, if you got this as well, can drop down a comment. 280 ml, a lot of product in here. Almond oil, almond shell, coconut husk. Do you know what? It was really nice. It's a light exfoliant. It's like a grain exfoliation. So it's like very creamy and it had a light grain through it. Only thing is it makes a heck of a mess of your shower or bath. <laughs> you have to rinse your bath and shower quite a few times because it just leaves the grain in the bath. So you need to you need to really just like rinse and rinse and rinse your bath afterwards. But it was just it was just uh Obviously, I've washed it out, but it was it was really nice. I can still smell 
the scent. The scent was beautiful, just really light. It was a really light exfoliant and I, I really liked it, really enjoyed that one. Um, next thing I got a sample of the ritual, the ritual of Ayurveda and this was the nurturing shower oil. I really quite liked it, enjoyed it, got it in a box. Don't know if I'd repurchase it. I'm not a massive shower oil fan. I prefer just to have a, a shower gel, just personal preference. I find that with shower oils, you squirt it, it goes everywhere and you've, you've used about half the bottle of it. Uh, it smelt lovely. It was like an it says um, Indian rose and sweet almond. Beautiful smell. It's just like I say, I don't know. It just feels too watery as a shower. I, I, like you, you want to feel like you're lathering yourself up and getting a good wash. This felt like it was just sort of very... A bit meh actually uh, it was it was nice it smelled nice but i wouldn't repurchase it and i know these products ritual can be quite expensive but this i mean that that's my own personal preference for a shower product some of you might enjoy it next thing this is something i did enjoy by ritual and this was the ritual of, of sakura and this is the softening rice scrub a very light scrub it's got a light green through it um you know i would i would probably repurchase this actually but i heard it can be quite expensive and it just says it's got organic rice and milk and cherry blossom i think it was look fantastic i might have got it got it in just a beautiful light scrub and you know it's nice to just have in your shower a quick scrub and then you know you can go it's it, it was good i enjoyed that one so i'm just dumping everything down oh this is my this is when i i'm using the sugar bear hair vitamins at the moment and I got the sugar cap, hair bear cap in it and it's really good. I thought when I got that in the I, mean, I got in the box, I thought it was going to be absolutely rubbish cap. I thought it might be one of those plastic wear one once caps. But it's a full and proper cap with like um, cloth inside it. It was really good. So I've been using it when I've been putting um, hair masks on in the bath and I put the cap on. It's like heat, the heat, heat keeps it working properly. And then it can just wash the cap in the shower, in the washing machine. It's been great. I'm really, really enjoying it. Okay, another body cream. I got this. Um, I bought this. I think it was. Uh, it was a. It was a glossy box at Christmas. They had. Um, they were selling off their philosophy boxes now, and I got this is one of the products. Now, I used it. Didn't really like the smell. You can smell it there. It smelled weird, like. It says gingerbread and it smelled like a kind of fake sugary gingerbread with something else in it. And, I, and to be honest with you, I mean, it was quite nourishing. It was quite, a, it, it did leave your skin feeling really good. But the smell, like, I would have purchased it just for the smell. It felt very like artificially sort of smell and I didn't like it, the smell. Um, some people might love it. Some people might have thought it was the most amazing thing ever. I didn't like the smell, couldn't get over the smell. Okay, so that was by Philosophy. The other product I um I'm using by I use by Philosophy is a Turbo Booster C powder, and it was just a small one I got of that. And what you do is you mix this into your um a couple of um caps of this you mix into your moisturizer. Now I just find it. I know some people swear by these C powders, knee powders, and all this sort of stuff. I just find they're a little bit messy and I always forget to use them and I had this for quite a while and I just you know finally finished it but I wouldn't have purchased that I think I'd rather buy a moisturizer that has all the benefits in it rather than having to buy an additional thing that you have to mix into stuff which I think is a bit of a waste of time but yeah it's a topical vitamin c powder so this is the other thing one of the other things I got in the philosophy box some of the other stuff that I got in the philosophy box I absolutely have loved I love their poor minimizer product which i've still got and i'm still using but this is a bit meh uh, for me anyway at least next thing i had was the i have gone through a lot of skin products this month brazilian bum boom boom or bum bum whatever you pronounce it cream by sol de janeiro beautiful absolutely love it it's a product that you all know about um it's it says you're infused with all powerful guarana extract. It just smells like being on a beach holiday. It is nourishing. It's thick. It's beautiful. It leaves your skin and smelling and feeling great. This is just a little, this is just our kind of middle size one. You can get a bigger size one than this and you can get like a miniature travel size. I think I've still got a travel size in my beauty cupboard to still use but i do love this product it's i would definitely repurchase this i heard the other one there's another one that you can get and not the, the green one heard it's not so good so i do i do like this one and i i think i watched um 
the lady from is it she that she does California Sun or George Georgia Sun. She she said there's like a spray, so I might try and buy the the, the spray, the body spray, because that sounds really nice. The next thing is just a hand wash. I don't know why I put this in here particularly, but this method limited edition botanical garden. Yeah, I, I bought, I ended up buying, was it last year? It was a special deal on Amazon and I bought, ended up buying six of these. So we're just working your way through them. I think we've got the last bottle out just now. <laughs> but it's really nice. The kids love it. Lovely little scent. Um, I like the packaging. I like, I do like Method. I think Method's really good and it's such a clean, a clean company. Next thing I got was um, this thing here, which is the Chill Mode by Patchology, and it's soothing cannabis seed oil infused eye gels, um, cannabis sativa seed oil. Yeah, it just left your skin feeling really good under eyes. It felt really bright and fresh afterwards. It says here, formulated with natural tea leaves and cannabis seed oil for soothing, smoothing, and looking like a smoke show. No smoking required. So it looks. It, it did. It just left your your eyes feeling really refreshed after after wearing it. Sometimes I'm a bit like me with lip and eye patches, but these these I like Patchology. I think I like pretty much everything that Patchology puts out really. But this is the mood patch. I wasn't sure if it was supposed to put you in a good mood as well. I I don't know, but. <laughs> Uh, the gently warming facial steam mask by OK. That was that was OK. It was all right. Um, it didn't seem to. Um, it was supposed to warm. I'm sure it was supposed to warm, and I can remember thinking it's. Uh, it wasn't that amazing. It was all right, and it just said, you know, you put put it on. It clears pores, suitable for weekly use. Using the bath or shower. I think it was all right. It wasn't my favourite of OK. Um, I kind of was excited by it, thinking it was going to really... I like masks that warm up. And I don't think it really did that. It was it was meh. Um, now, this is another cream that I've used. I had this for a while and I finally used it. And this is by Human and Kind. And it's the Body Souffle. And it was the one that's... Um, did it say what kind it lightly whipped for the ultimate in kindness human and kind's two one light and fluffy body souffle is quickly absorbed to leave your skin feeling super moisturized and soft to the touch i think i got this in a i got this in fab fit fun but you can't and it smells gorgeous it smells like mangoes it's really really nice and uh you can buy human kind actually in the uk so um there's actually if you look at human and kind website they do lots of natural beautiful body products and it's with a conscience so everything's like kind of vegan cruelty free natural and um, you do like shower, shower gels moisturizers all that good stuff and it's not too expensive and they do always do quite good discount codes when you first start sign up so the one i got like i say this is from from fab fit fun they do tend to put these ones in quite a few times next thing is i had a shower gel by molten brown i think we've all we all know molten brown and it was an orange and bergamot love the scent not much I can say about that really i mean i like getting uh, molten brown as gifts and i like to get it in beauty boxes i wouldn't really go out and spend 18 pounds on a molten and brown shower gel i just i just wouldn't um but it's nice to get to get that isn't it in a, in a beauty box and i think that's where i got it the next thing i got was for another scrub uh, no, another cream this was the, a small one this was this was amazing. This was actually one of my favourite creams I've ever used, I think. And this was the sp from the Spa of the World collection from the Body Shop. And it was the Hawaiian Kuk Kukoi. Um, rich nurture Nurturing Body Cream. It's beautiful. It went on. It, it felt like silk when it went on, like rich silk. It was quite rich, but silky. And it just smelled so gorgeous. It was like left my skin feeling completely nurture, um, nourished like I say I've got really dry skin at the moment um, I think sometimes being inside quite a lot as we've been at the moment and I do get a bit of psoriasis on my ankles and a bit of dermatitis on my hand never used to have anything until I hit sort of I would say in my 20s I got a tiny bit of psoriasis on my ankle and that was all I had on one ankle until I hit my sort of mid 30s and then for the last couple of years my skin like just on this just on this one hand and a bit of my ankles i've had like psoriasis and a bit of like i say a bit of dermatitis that's just the state my hands in at the moment and i'm trying to find products that's dealing with it and it's um but this left my skin feeling really nurtured and i really like that um 
like I said, I'm going to do a video looking at products um, for for um, hand care um, because I have gone through quite a lot and with, with varying results. There's some that has been like hot trash and others that have been very, very good. So um, this one here is just a little clarifying hair wash I got from Tropic. I think it was uh, one of my friends did a Tropic party and I didn't couldn't go, but I said to her, oh, um, put me down for some shampoo and conditioner. So I just got this little tiny clarifying hair wash very nice not not amazing amount to write home about it it was it was it was nice i wouldn't say it did miracles for my hair i'm quite picky about my hair products because i do like my hair products it was, it was okay yeah it was okay just throwing everything on the ground here these are a couple of miniature things here little things uh skin iceland i love skin iceland i love 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 skin iceland this was um just a little um glacial face wash it's really nice actually really refreshing i'm not a massive fan of like foaming face washes and this was a foaming face wash but it was nice it was really refreshing really like you know quite liked it got uh this was the nars um smudge proof eyeshadow base did i like it it was okay it was okay it was not the best um eyeshadow base i've ever used it was all right um a bit a bit thin a bit yeah a bit nondescript I got this tiny Clinique Smart Night Cream. It actually, for a small guy, it lasted quite. It lasted about a week and a half. Um, custom Repair Moisturiser. It was quite thick, quite quite um, quite moisturising. I wouldn't buy the full size of it because it's not. It didn't blow me away, but it it, it was okay. Love this, and I wouldn't mind getting another one of these. I don't know if I'd go out and buy one myself, but I would, wouldn't mind getting one in a beauty box. This is the Pixie Rose Flash Balm. It does give you a little bit of a glow. It feels really nurturing when it's on, um, nourishing. It's an instant skin booster, so it does leave your skin feeling a lot, a little bit glowy. I did like this a lot. I think actually I'd be really delighted if I, if I got another one in a in a, a box. Um, this is really great. This is the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Serum. You might think, oh, but that's tiny. How could you review it? It lasted ages. It lasted for about two weeks, two and a half weeks. Love Murad. I think Murad are very, very good. And this this serum was excellent. I really, I would repurchase the serum. I think it's fairly expensive though, but it was really, really good. Um, it left my skin with a glow. It was very protecting. Um very smoothing and I, I so i really enjoyed this this mirad one um this is one of my favorite products it's a, a miniature i actually have like the full size one now because i love this so much and this is the powerful strength line reducing concentrate this is amazing stuff right if you really want a line reducing concentrate if you want something to deal with wrinkles to deal with something to plump up parts of your skin get hold of this it is expensive i think it's about 68 pounds but they do i think they do smaller ones to try them out this stuff's amazing you feel it it almost feels like tightening when you when you put it on your skin it's brilliant and the last like you know the effect lasts you know, like the next day your skin still feels great i that's why i repurchase it this is why i was like okay it's 68 pounds but i am repurchasing it because it is amazing love this stuff love it love it love it if there's anything out of this entire stuff i can recommend it's this okay i got this one glam glow super serum it was okay it was quite thin it was like a blue color it was a bit weird Um, it smelled a little bit chemically we didn't, we didn't repurchase it it was okay you know, I've heard people rave about it. I just quite thought it was okay. It was quite, like I said, it was quite a thin serum when it went on. It was kind of, you know, you put it on your hand to put it on your face and it would just run through your fingers. It, it was okay. Um, I got another Skin Iceland. This is just their um, eye cream contour. Uh, this stuff actually lasted for about three weeks. Now, I know eye products do last longer, but it was just this tiny little tub, but it lasted so long. It was my favourite eye cream of all time. It was it was okay, but it you know it did the job. It, it, you know it made my eyes feel smooth underneath. Um, but it you know it was it was it wasn't miracle working. It wasn't like this stuff, but it was it was it was quite nice. It was quite refreshing on your eyes. Night cream from um, it was an Estee Lauder. Just a little sample there. Advanced night repair. Again, this seemed to last quite a long time as well. Um, again, a very, very nourishing cream for night. I probably wouldn't repurchase, but it was okay. The last thing was, I actually opened this last night. 
and um, in my um, Bombay and Cedar box and I decided to use it and I loved it. Now this is, I feel a bit stupid because to start with, I um, it came with a mesh around it, like a mesh fabric around it and I, I thought you were supposed to put the whole thing on your face. So I sat with this for ages going, I don't feel like I'm getting any product through onto my skin. And then I realised you had to take the mesh layer off off it first. <laughs> and then once I put it on, it was amazing. It really left my skin feeling so smooth, so nourished, so glowy. It was beautiful. And I was like, oh, I really need to get more of these. Then I looked up the price on the internet. So one of these is worth £15. I thought, hmm, maybe not. Maybe I won't be repurchasing. You could get a set of three for £45. And I was like, okay, that, that that's really expensive. Um, but it is a fantastic mask. I'm glad that I got the chance to use it because it really was. I, I'm going to look out for these bio biocellulose peel masks again because they, they did feel like they did the business. Anyway, that was my empties. You can see how long it would have been if I'd done the drunk elephant stuff as well and the hair stuff. It would have been like an hour. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed it and um, let me know what you, what did you, what have you used up this month? What's your recommendations? Have you really enjoyed using a, a, a miracle product this month that you want to, to put out in this channel or you want me to have a look at? Anyway, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.